Hello Taurus and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. This reading is going to cover the first two weeks of April and there is a lot happening. So just hold on. We'll talk about it as we go through your reading. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you find that it doesn't resonate, please also check out your rising moon and Venus signs. So we're going to start with your energies. Then we're going to get into the tarot cards. This is going to give us some more substance as to what's happening. We're going to do your spirit messages and then we're going to tie the entire reading together with your angel messages and finish off the reading with your angel number and affirmation. So let's, uh, let's begin by cleansing the space. All right. Thank you again, Taurus, for joining me. So let's get right into your energies. Let's find out what those energies are that are surrounding you for the first two weeks of April. We've got lots of things happening in the first two weeks of April. Oh, there's one, two. Oh, wow. There's lots of people around you. There's lots of thinking going on. You've got three major energies here. And then let's start with the bottom of the deck. So number 48, you've got the angel of balance, really trying to restore that balance in your life, looking for what it is you need to really restore that balance as well. Now we just went through a full moon on the 25th of March. And you know, that's about closing up certain cycles in your life. So now you're maybe starting to restore that balance after that full moon. And also you got number 16, which is all about having patience. You know, it's really about, uh, it's almost as if the a certain cycle of your life is kind of closing, it, the chapter is closing, and there's new beginnings coming into play. Balance and having patience is something that, you know, um, requires, re requires a lot, really, because, you know, we're not always want to be patient to bring and restore that balance in our life. But really, right now, it is about knowing that you are being divinely guided and that that balance is going to be restored. You just have to, it's going to happen in time. And then you also got cornucopia. So you've got a lot of abundance coming into play for you. So as long as you are willing to, you know, uh, again, put in, put in a little bit of time and have a little bit of patience, you're really going to find as if your worlds are starting to come together in, in a very harmonious way. So we've got number 44, woman holding heart. So this could be your energy Taurus. Again, we don't go by gender. I just read the cards for what they say. So woman holding heart definitely could be your energy. Number 44 is um, a very powerful angel number. So this could be messages of your angels trying to get through to you as well. But you know, this is really about really trying to achieve um, something in your life where you're feeling a lot of balance within your emotions. You're balancing out your emotions with everything else. So really trying to keep in check things that really make your heart happy, things that are really important to you on an emotional level. And then you also got number 47, which is the thinking woman. Now, April 1st to the 25th, we are going to be in a Mercury retrograde. So that is the planet of communication. So when the retrogrades happen, you know, it, um, it really feels as if communications are a little bit more challenging. Um, you know, really, it is a time for you to start to review things. It's more about reviewing things instead of making, you know, uh, new, new paths and new decisions. Um, there is a transformation time going on. And it's really, again, like I said, it's really all about reviewing and, you know, um, taking into consideration um, things that you've already started things that you really need to put some attention to detail on. So you've got a lot of thinking going on at this time. Um, you're gaining your knowledge, you're gaining your information, and that's really helping you as, you know, to making and setting those plans. Especially once we get out of the retrograde, it's really going to help you as you move forward on your path. Now, you also got number 42, which is woman holding coin. This is very much Taurus energy very independent, very much about, um, you know, keeping um, finances in check. Um, you know, the, the importance of monetary things is very, very much um, on, on the top of the checklist. 
but you know you're also a nurturer you so so you see you're balancing out your emotions but also balancing out what those things are that you need every day to keep you going all of those financial endeavors things that you may have invested in or whatever you know whatever you um, are really pursuing financially it's really you know you're putting a lot of thought into keeping this balanced so right now for the first two weeks it's all about keeping all of that in balance emotions and those physical things that you need in your life to continuously to keep going so let's get right into your tarot cards so that we can get a little bit of bit better understanding as to what these energies mean so we're going to start with the woman holding a heart spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Taurus, this is for the first two weeks of April. What can you tell us about woman holding a heart? Anything else you'd like to share? Thank you so much. Okay, you got three. All right. So the first card you got was the High Priestess. This is Major Arcana, number two. This is about really being in, in, really in touch and in tune with your intuition. It's really having that ability to trust in your intuition to help guide you along your path. Um, you know, sometimes the High Priestess keeps things a little bit hidden, you know, because again, um, having this high intuition is not something that you just, you know, that you're just, you wear it on your sleeve and everybody can see it. It's something that you kind of keep close to your chest. But, you know, now is the time for you to really tap into your ability to be able to, to, you know, create um, this trust and this balance that you, that, that you so much are longing for. You, uh, you, have the, um, you have the ability to really, you know, trust that intuition right now. You also got the Four of Cups. So with the woman holding a heart being your energy, the Four of Cups is about a little bit of dissatisfaction, a little bit of discontent. It's, you know, you're not seeing the cup of abundance. You're kind of closing yourself off or withdrawing from it right now. Maybe right now is not the time to communicate those things. Maybe right now is the time for you to take that step back and to really review things and really, you know, really do a little bit of deep reflecting before you before you move forward with something and mercury retrogrades are great for that you know maybe you need to do a little bit more inwardly about the communicate about communicating with yourself rather than you know setting those communications out for everybody to hear you know maybe keeping things a little bit secretive right now is what you need to build that strength up so that when you are not feeling so out of sorts you're going to recognize this cup of abundance that's sitting there and it's waiting for you it's just right now it's time for you to kind of pull back and just kind of go go inward a little bit and then you also got number four the emperor now interesting enough the emperor is um is represents an aries um an aries personality and of course right now we are in aries season that also being said, on the 8th of April, we are going to be having a solar eclipse and it's the new moon in Aries. So Aries, of course, is very energized and, and they're very, um, you know, they're very much about being in control, taking that leadership role, but they're all action oriented. They want to move quickly through things. And sometimes, especially with this Mercury retrograde, now is the time that you have to be a little careful with the words that you use when you're communicating your thoughts. Because when we are motivated by excitement, sometimes we can say things and people take it in the wrong way. So it's really important for you at this time to, you know, if you're going to be communicating with anybody, it's really important for you to be very mindful of how your communications are coming across. It's only because we are going through that Mercury retrograde in the Aries season where this can be a little bit more, um, you know, we just, again, we have to be more mindful and, you know, you're just feeling a little out of sorts right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we have to emotionally withdraw ourselves from things. And when you do that, I feel like you're going to feel that your, um, your, that nudge that you feel inside that helps you to, and motivates you to make decisions is really, you're going to be very in tune with that because right now you're feeling very much on an emotional level very much emotions are, are controlling a lot of things that you're thinking right now. So let's get into the thinking woman and find out what that energy is. So thinking woman, again, no gender. 
Let's find out why this energy is here for the sign Taurus. Thank you, Spirit Eden Angels. What is the message for the thinking woman? All right, it looks as if here with the Princess of Coins, the reason you're thinking here, because there are transformations taking place for you. The Princess of Coins is a messenger. It's a messenger about something that you are ready and wanting to embark on that is going to produce very tangible results. So this could be a new contract, a business offer, a new investment, something that is going to start out, um, it, it, it actually might start out slowly, but it will, you can see the potential for it to really build and build strong. This is about building up your resources for the future, taking those steps. There's a message coming and this is why you are contemplating. You are really taking this time out to think. Now, if it has something to do with a contract, again, I can't stop stressing it, the Mercury retrograde is a time for you to really review your contracts in detail. Make sure that all of those details are really um, you know, fine tuned before you sign anything. It's just, you know, it's just a, a precautionary. So let's find out with this woman holding coin, because I truly believe that this is your energy as well. So let's find out what's happening here with woman holding a coin. Spirit angels and guides, what are the messages you'd like to share with the beautiful sign Taurus for the first two weeks of April? You got the nine of coins, nine of coins and the woman holding a coin are very comparable energies. Nine of coins is all about independence. So really holding your independence, knowing that you've really, really worked very hard to be where you're at right now. And if you are enjoying the fruits of your labor and you are starting to enjoy those little luxuries that are coming into your life, it's because you've put in the time, you've put in the hard work, and now it's time for you to reap the benefits of that. I feel like you are really contemplating some sort of new direction. There is definitely something that's being offered to you that is, is going to benefit you long term financially. So I believe that that, you know, I think you're already in a very good financial place, but now there's something new that's coming into play that's really you're bringing some thought to. So let's clarify this a little bit more so that we can understand exactly what's happening here. So let's start with the woman holding a heart, the two, um, which is the high priestess, the emperor, which is number four, and then the four of cups. You got two fours there. Now, interesting enough, if you look, you've got the four here, the four with the emperor, and then you got the 44. Four is the number of stability. So, you know, I feel like you're, that four is really a key number for you to keep um, in your mind as you move throughout the first two weeks of April. So let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share with us for these energies. Anything else you'd like to share? Thank you so much. Okay. So you got the Hierophant number five, Major Arcana. This is the Taurus card. So you know what, Taurus, you guys are going through a major transformation. There is definitely something something suddenly coming into play for you. Um, the Hierophant card is all about wisdom. It's all about some of you could be actually, you know, going back to your roots in a sense of your family values, your traditions, you know, really relying on the things that you learned and that you value most in your life. You could be looking for wise counsel at this time as well. It's really restoring that faith that you have, um, your spiritual faith, faith or your religious traditional values as well. Something is very important to you, but there is a change that's taking place. You got the tower card, um, number 16. And, you know, tower cards, we always, you know, we always depict them as, you know, catastrophic change, but they're not always that way. You know, it's, it's really important to accept sometimes that there are going to be some sudden changes in our life. And sometimes we need that shift. Towers don't happen to us. They happen for us. And, you know, there is a shift coming because there is something that emotionally is not satisfying you. And you're really relying on the faith and wisdom that you have, that you've, that you've always had, because you're really, you know, you are really looking to 
your inner core values at this time because you want to make some changes. There's changes that definitely need to come into play and you're ready to take action with that because you know what? Your heart, your heart, you being this loving, caring, nurturing person is requiring some sort of a change that change so that you're not feeling out of sorts anymore you don't want to have that energy you know you want you don't want to be lethargic you don't want to be you know not looking at opportunities um, that make you feel a sense of love and appreciation and gratitude and right now you're withdrawing yourself from life a little bit and that's why we need this sudden change to come into play so that so that we can shake ourselves out of that emotional blockage and we can restore our values our morals and our faith back into things again because there is an opportunity that's coming into play here for you there is some sort of contract there is something that is really coming to balance things out for you. So if you've been feeling emotionally imbalanced, this is the time where you're gonna, this, this sudden change that happens is gonna help restore that. It's going to allow you to close out, you know, a, a chapter in your life so that you can begin a new chapter. And of course, solar eclipse on April 8th being that new moon and especially in Aries, Again, that's like an Aries card. This is really, you know, gearing you towards new beginnings and new opportunities and things that are more positive. You know, the sudden changes that happen, happen again for us so that we can open up the doors to really see, you know, something, something new. And that's really important because you've got a lot of newness happening here for you. And you got number, number nine, the hermit. Now this is Virgo energy, if that means anything for any of you Taurus. This is really, again, doing some deep soul searching. And again, with you having this, the thinking woman and also having the hermit, now is the time to really do some deep self reflection, really trying to understand what transformations you want to take place here. But you have to kind of take a little bit of a time out. You need to kind of go within to kind of get the answers. The light that shines within you is the light that's going to help guide you on your path. And this is why you also got this number two, the high priestess, because again, that is, you know, really being in line with your intuition and really trusting in your gut feelings. I think there's major transformations taking place for you right now, Taurus. And I think there's this opportunity from something, something long-term that's going to really bring, um, a lot of abundance for you. But before you can make any decisions, you have to take a time out and really, kind of go deep within and look for that wisdom that you already have within you. You're a very wise person. So trust in your wisdom because your wisdom is what's going to help you to make your decisions because there's no doubt that you are embarking on some sort of new opportunity that's coming into play that's going to offer long-term benefits. So let's find out with this woman holding a coin and the nine of coins. Beautiful energies there as well. So let's find out spirit angels and guides. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us for the sign Taurus? And this is for the first two weeks of April. You got the four of pentacles. You have got so many fours. Honestly, you really need to look at fours as a very auspicious number for you for the first two weeks of April. Now, we also have to keep in mind that number four is also the month of April. So this is a very impactful month for you. Lots is happening for you. And this here, number fours are about stability again. So um, with the four of pentacles, you know, you're holding on to everything that you've worked really hard for. You're holding on to it tightly. It's about having that sense of, um, feeling that sense of stability and that sense of security, feeling, feeling like, you know, the resources that you're building up, you're holding on to them tightly. You could be at a point in your life where you're getting ready to retire. So you're feeling a sense of financial independence and you're feeling all those little luxuries, but you're also very practical. And you know that, Hey, I have to hold on to some of this money. I have to invest some of this money. I have to make sure that I'm making good decisions on where I put my money long term because I can't afford for any of it to be released. So I really feel like you're in a good place where you're able to make those decisions for yourself. It's excellent, excellent energy. And again, we've got so many things happening in the month of April. Remember that it's all about balance and that divine timing is really about, you know, it's having that patience to let something run its cycle because we can't always rush everything. 
but it is going to lead to your cornucopia and the cornucopia is your abundance. You are transforming with patience and balance. You are going to get that abundance that it is that you are, have been working so hard for. So now that we have these messages, let's get your angel message. Let's find out what your spirit guides would like to share with you, Taurus. This is for the first two weeks of April. Okay, they want you to have those two. So I'm going to read those two. You got new beginnings. We know that that's happening for you. Absolutely. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. It's nudging you forward with your intuition. It is allowing new beginnings to come into being because old cycles and old chapters of your life that no longer serve their purpose emotionally for you are coming to, a, to an end. And you are restoring that faith that you have and you're restoring your traditional values, your core values are all coming into play right now. They're very important to you and you're restoring those because they're helping you to move forward. They're helping you with your new beginning. And then you got a mother's love. So there could be motherly energy around you, whether your mother has passed or whether she is still living, or this could be even you if you are a mother. Again, it will resonate differently with each of you. So a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that the special bond of love can never be broken. So you, you have your mother's love helping you as you embark down this new beginning to this new journey whatever ups and downs happen whatever decisions you need to make your mother's love is there to help give you that strength and courage to keep moving forward beautiful so to tie your entire reading together we are going to get uh, your angel messages now these are the messages that are going to tie everything together to give us a better idea of what the angels really want to share with you and this of course is for the first two weeks of april so spirit angels and guides what are the messages you'd like to share thank you if i could get one more it doesn't matter it's okay you got two really beautiful messages start with the first one you got number 17 the star this is aquarius energy archangel jophiel so a dream come true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation. That's why you've got this tower card. The end of a difficult situation. And I believe the situation is an emotional situation. I do not believe that it's physical. I believe that it has a lot to do with how you've been feeling or internalizing your feelings. This is all coming to an end. If you've been challenging your faith, if you've been challenging your spirituality, this is helping you. This change is coming so that it can help restore all of that positive energy back inside. So the star is, again, a dream come true. You must believe in yourself and that end of a difficult situation is coming to being because you also got the ace of Raphael. It's a positive new emotional experience. So you're moving towards a positive, glorious, loving energy, fulfilling romantic relationships. So again, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic because this could be relationships that you feel, again, with family members or with colleagues or friends it's your circle of people that you love deep and lasting spiritual insights ace of raphael is the ace of abundance it's the emotional abundance that goes along with all of the wonderful things in life that we work so very hard for it's being able to feel that balance in your life between the monetary things the things that we need the necessities of life that keep us going our health is very important having that balance with our health and having the balance with how we feel about everything in our life, those emotions. So it's really, this is a very um, prosperous time for you, Taurus. It's just a very, it's very much a time to really sit back and review your commitments, review things that are going on in your life, because there's lots of opportunities coming into play as we move towards the first two weeks of April. So to complete your reading, we're gonna get your angel number and the affirmation that goes along with it. So we already know four is definitely, without a doubt, an extremely important number for you because it's shown up multiple times. Spirit angels and guides, what's the other number? What is the angel number? Thank you. And you got number 24. 
I am generous. You have a heart of gold. And that's how we started this reading. And are very skilled at maintaining balance and stable relationships. Wow. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous. Beautiful card to sum up exactly who you are, Taurus. You're ruled by Venus. You are a nurturer. You are, you are um, somebody who depicts a mother's love as well. Um, whether you, uh, it doesn't matter what your gender is. Just remember you are very generous. Don't ever forget that. And just know that you are really great at maintaining all of these different facets in your life. Beautiful energy. Thank you, Taurus, so much for joining me today. I hope that you found parts of this resonate with you. Again, this is for the first two weeks of April. So please leave comments and let me know. And uh, also, too, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It costs nothing to subscribe, and your support means the world to me. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.